Hi, good morning. Today we're going to be doing a range of resistance bands movements, but we're going to be only seated. So we've got two chairs. I've got an office chair and also a regular uh, home table chair. So I'll do both to show that we can do it uh, on either type of chairs. The reason for this is a lot of people have seen the videos that I've done, but I'm standing up energetic and they look at it and they say they're very tired. It's like they look at it, oh, it's too much. I can't handle it. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, basic exercises using the uh, trainer bands and two lower level bands uh, so that anyone at home can do it quite easily or the office uh, when you have a five minute break, your lunch break, your coffee break, you can do your stretches and, and get a, uh, a quick workout. Uh, as I said, the key is to have continuous training and movement uh, all day long. And this is a great time, uh, opportunity to do it, S seated down as well. Also, um, if you need occupational therapy, uh, there's, uh, you can't stand up uh, or walk um, or your home. Uh, it, this is a great exercise uh, that you can use as full body exercises upper, lower as well, and the core that gives you a general training um, uh, to, to, for your recovery period and help you recover and slowly improve. Um, okay, so let's give this a try and I'll move back and tune in. <laughs> So today what we'll start, we'll start with some upper, upper body exercises, working from the shoulders down to the chest and then the arms and then the abs and then we'll work some lower body movements uh, for the back and then for the uh, legs, okay? So there'll be a range, so this is going to be an introductory video, uh, perhaps I will split it into three parts and we'll see how we go and uh, let's get started, okay? So what I'll do is I'll use the, uh, the trainer band. Um, which is suitable for, for, for anybody. Um, the other bands you can use if you feel like a, a more a strenuous workout. But let's start with this. I'm gonna prove that all these exercises are not just for the fitness buffs, but pretty much anyone can get involved, okay? Okay, so start with the shoulders. We start with the pull apart. Pull apart, very simple. Just Obviously, all exercises, you sit up straight, hold in the middle, and as the name says, we pull it apart. If you want it tighter, you want it harder, you pull it closer, okay? Or we change it to a high level band. If two is a bit tricky, as hard as well, you can go to single band, okay? And then we want to pull up sort of angle all the way straight back to the back. And what we sort of, or what I recommend, um, with triple X, we want to do things in three sets. Uh, so I would recommend that we go into, we do a 45 minute movement and then a 15 second rest. And with each time you do it from between 10 and 20 times. And that depending the key, I think when you get it, so you want to feel a muscle burn. With a pull apart, you're also, we're looking for the back muscle here and the shoulder, so you want to get some burn to it. If you're not getting any burn, you're not getting um, uh, a decent workout, okay? The second is lateral raise. What we do is we step on the band, so two feet in front. Step on the band in the, in the middle of your feet. And we pull up sideways, okay? Don't bump into things. Okay. There's a single band. You can step on a double side and use both sides and they up. Third movement we'll do is the front raises. Front raises are similar to lateral raise, but we're going in the front. We only want to go in the horizontal, and the key is we want to keep control. In similar, you can double up or hold it down lower to get that extra strength if it's not strong enough, okay? Shoulder press. Shoulder press, we can either uh, step on it to lift up, or option is you can place it under the chair, or actually what people also do is they sit on it. Um, 
you can sit on it sit as well and then we lift it up straight arm full okay if it's not enough strength as well you can double layer it up change bands or hold it lower down as well okay You want to try to keep the band on the outside of the arm, not on the inside. But inside's also okay. <laughs> okay, so those are the shoulder exercises we have. And then we have the chest, okay? And we have the first one is the front press. Front press, with all chest presses and push-ups, or you we always twist the band once and the option if you get a high if you have a high chair you can put the band on the back of the chair okay and we're pushing it out because of the front we're pushing it front ways and these should be able to work on your chest muscles you do single hand there are a lot of variations to it, but a simple one to get both workouts. And when you hit the end of the stretch, you can flex and tighten up your chest muscles to get an extra pump. Okay. In the next one, we have the upper chest, uh, upper chest press, which is the same position here. This is front. Then upper, we're looking at 45 degrees. See, you were careful on that one. They might flip up on you. So with the upper press, you want to put it down on the lower part of the chair. Or what people also do is just put it straight on your back. You don't necessarily have to put it on the back of the chair. We put it down lower, and we're looking at 45 degrees. So we're pushing upwards in an upwards angle. And this works on the upper chest muscle. Um, people like to cross their arms when they do it, left to right. Okay. And similar, if you want tighter, you can change the resistance level of the band or hold it lower down as well. And that gives it. Okay. The key is to keep control of the band. Then we have the uh, f flat fly and also the upper chest fly. So similar. But we have the palm, what we do is we bend the shoulders a little bit, palms face each other, and we bring it in. Okay. Okay. You almost squeeze it like you're hugging a tree. So you try to hug a tree, you're squeezing, hugging a tree. And also for the upper chest press, is upper chest fly, sorry, is we do the same as that, but we're doing up in a 45 degree angle. Okay. So that's the, the, the two uh, of the four chest exercises we have. And next we go for the um, biceps, okay. What I'll do is I'll change the chair to show that this is, an, this is a uh, an office chair, and this is a uh, hard style home chair. Bicep curls, step on the band single, or you can double it up. Palms face up. Palms face up, and elbows bent. What we're doing is we concentrate on the bicep so we don't want to all this movement everywhere so we're just pivoting on the elbows okay and go slowly because when you're pulling up you have the resistance and when you're going down you also have the counter resistance which uh, is part of the resistance training as well okay and then we have the concentrate Shin curl. What we do is we're working on a single arm. 
So if you step on the band on the right foot, you're, looking, you're working on the right arm. It depends on how low you step on the band, it gives you the strength. And what we're doing, we're bending in. And this really concentrates on the uh, bicep. And you use a thicker band, this is the equivalent of carrying using, using weights and dumbbells. Okay. And it just really concentrates on that bicep. If you really want to work on the bicep. Okay. Next, we have the tricep extension. You can put the band under the seat or you can just sit on it as well. Let's try it under the seat. What you can do is do a single hand or you can do a double hand. Um, but what we do is a single hand. We place it there, put it up. Left hand, I hold the other side. I could tie it on the, on the end of the, the chair, but if I did this, do it this way, it allows me to change on the other side quickly to do the other.
Okay, so what we're going to do is continue with the hip abduction. I change up to the, use the red band, and what we do is take the band, put it on the ankle on one side, you can wrap it twice, and then with the left hand we hold it to the left leg and use the knee section as the pivot. Your right leg keeps straight, right foot keeps straight, sorry and then we're moving from an inwards to an outwards left-right position. Okay, and that's stretching the outer leg muscle to strengthen the hip. Okay, and that's the same with the other leg. We take the band, we wrap it around my left leg. I like to pivot around the, the leg, so it's a bit easier. If you want tighter, hold the band lower. The key is to get enough tension and have nice straight leg, nice controlled moves. Okay, and then that's the right leg, left leg, and then we do the hip adduction, which is the same but the moving other side. With this one, we also wrap around the ankles the same, but because we have nothing to hold on on the outside, we have to use our arms, okay? So it's easy to keep a straight arm on one side, and then we're moving from outwards, from your foot starting outwards, and we're moving in. And what this does is works out the inner thigh muscles. And that's also the same for the right hand side. Obviously, if you have something tied onto, it's better. Um, but if you're seated, there are limitations on what we can do. And I want to try to keep everything revolving around the one seat. And then we have the push downs. Push down, what you do is you put the band on the floor, start with the left foot in the center, you grab the bands with both arms. So what we, and we hold it lower down. And you raise your hip and you bend your knees. And what we're trying to do is you're using your leg muscle to push down the band, okay? So we're pushing down. So it's like we're stepping on it, it's pushing it down. Okay. Okay, the same with the right foot as well. Okay. If there's not enough strength, double it up, hold it down lower. Okay. Calf raises, there's two versions. One version is to hold the band across your knee and you're pushing it down and we're raising it up. Calf raises. But if you don't think this is enough uh, of a stretch, with shoes it's a little bit trickier, but use a thicker band, don't use too thin a band, like the yellow band, because um, this one's, and we put it on the top of your toes, but just careful when you pull it back, we're tight, tightening enough um, that we don't flick up onto you, okay? And then we're putting these down. The thicker the band, the better, because there's more surface area to cover your toes. And we're pushing down. Okay, so that has the effect of uh, raise, calf and raise, but for a seated down exercise. And then we have the final move we have is the leg curl. The leg curl is like the opposite of a, of a push up for the arms, but it's for the feet. What we do is we step on the band with one foot, and the other foot goes on the loop. Okay. And what we do is we're lifting leg up. So it's creating tension from the band as we pull the leg up, right leg up. Same with the left side. Step on the band on one side.
and we're and we're done. So these are the basic moves which I'll be introducing um, if you're for for a seated version of our band exercises. All these moves are incorporated into the um, the bands. Uh, they're not specifically named after the seated ones because they're, they're more arranged for a, a standing up full body exercise. However, all these moves can be done if you're seated, for even if that is necessary. Um, hopefully that helped out a bit. And um, uh, if you like what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button, um, like the page, uh, give us some comments down below, and join us on Facebook and Instagram as well. And if you're interested in um, uh, joining up, jump on to triplexbands.com and put your name in the subscriber and we'll update you with any new thing, information. Um, okay, if there's anything you else want to see, please put in a comment so that we can um, make more videos for you. We felt we did the chair one obviously because people asked for it. They didn't want me standing around uh, in the park and everything. They said, well, oh, that's too energetic. I can't follow it. Oh, my mum can't follow it. Uh, I think this set of moves can be done. You can do it at your own timing, whatever, however you want to do it. Just make sure you keep exercise everything else uh, every day. And as I said, my motto is don't forget to work out today. So please don't forget to work out today. Peace out. Thank you.